Good morning, folks. We're going to go over space weather, look at a couple articles as well, including one that plays across the topics of solar climate forcing and catastrophism. We'll start with our star and find the coronal holes continuing to turn through and bright active regions on the north still incoming behind them. No significant flares or eruptions over the last day and solar wind has stabilized. Purple line shows we're still inside the coronal hole stream, but as that speed component stabilized, along with the plasma density in yellow, the stability has allowed equilibrium to return in Earth's magnetic field and the reduction of geomagnetic storm conditions from yesterday. We may yet see another component from the departing coronal hole, but we surely also have the trailing one to consider as well. That one will disrupt the solar wind middle to late this week. The incoming active regions and plasma filaments are the primary watch for eruptive activity today and for the next few days. Despite their silence thus far, we have a train of sunspots including the new group which we saw born yesterday and which has stabilized itself into a slower mature morphology. Not a lot of magnetic complexity at this time which is good. Folks, following up the record snowstorms we had last week, we are continuing to see cold records smashed in its wake. Temperatures should return to their autumn normals here today and in the coming days. But the cold keeps happening, just as the heat is happening as well. We've still got fairly good representation of both extremes. Top story today hits layer coupling of the Earth. Clearly identified atmospheric electric field variations during geomagnetic storms reach the lowest part of the atmosphere and imply that the coupling between anything that touches the magnetosphere and the ground is absolutely real. This is largely due to the global electric circuit which intimately connects the entire atmosphere to its highest reaches, the ionosphere, where space weather has a tremendous impact on densities and wind speed, both for neutrals and the charged components. This is not only yet another mark for solar forcing of the climate, but it implies the severity of modulation during much larger solar events, where not only are the X-rays an issue, but the particle flux and resulting geomagnetic disturbance is an issue as well. The atmospheric electric field modulates temperature, wind, clouds, storms, and more. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this with our books and playlists listed below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.